Welcome back to my channel MI Tutorial. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create slicers and also create multiple slicers along with uh, a searchable field wherein you can type in any name and uh, search for a particular filter, right? Now, let's get started. So, I have a sample data set over here. Let's quickly add uh, a pivot table, okay? And then uh, I'm going to bring in the uh, category column, okay? And then bring in my sales amount. Let's begin with uh, these two fields over here. I'm going to change this to currency and uh, that's my sales amount, okay? And then I'm going to insert a, a, a bar chart or a column chart and then uh, change the design of this particular thing to this and then also change the color maybe to this for this particular tutorial and then I'm going to hide all the fields on the chart okay right now I have this so let's put this uh, over here uh, and now let's say let's add a subcategory uh, as a slicer right now how do you do this is basically on any field that you want as a slicer you can simply right click and click on add as a slicer now you can add this as a slicer and now when you click on a particular category subcategory over here now this amount will be automatically filtered so basically these two slicer the, this slicer is connected to this particular uh, bar chart if you click on chairs here you see furniture now let's add another uh, category uh, let's add uh, maybe uh, state okay let's add state now if you see here there are so many states that are available within this particular thing and sometimes when you have a lot of data it becomes really difficult for you to uh, search and uh, click on that particular filter so what you need to do for that is basically uh, let us copy uh, let us copy this particular uh, pivot table here okay and then uh, let's get rid of the category and the sales amount and let us add state into the filter okay and then let's cut this and bring it over here so that it aligns exactly uh, at the uh, uh, area of this particular slicer okay let's extend this a little bit so that it looks like it is part of the slicer okay now we are there now let's say if you now want to filter let's get rid of this particular filter and let's say if you now want to filter for uh, the state california you can simply do that uh, i don't know why this was resized let's resize this again now see now you can simply go here search in let's say texas we can simply search in and then select texas right likewise uh, you can also simply click on this particular state over here and uh, filter for the data and if you want to select multiple you can hold down control and select the states over here the other way of filtering also is uh, you can simply click on this and then drag like this to select multiple uh, states right so this is how you add a slicer uh, into your data which is a very powerful tool especially when you want to analyze data with multiple filters to see how and what is happening this is really helpful i hope uh, this video uh, i hope you find this video to be helpful you've learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials